Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus. Today we are going to be playing in Spawn Huntress and the... what is this team called? The Flage Hunters team. So there's going to be an immediate sacrificial stab onto my Flage one, so that's not too funny, is it? And we are going to be playing the Hit Squad once again, so let's see how we can make that work. I think I want to go for... Um, Maybe a kill on Sakultus, like he's a pretty annoying character, isn't he? Uh, I can also pull the Arbalist, which is an idea. But I think killing the Occultus here is going to be a lot easier, and uh, also not bad. Oh, we actually get the debuff on that, that's wonderful actually. Because uh, he has minus death bow resistance now, we, we take those. So it's going to be a collect bounty, which hits me for a, a very solid amount. Sadly, I don't have Crown of Thorns. So I can't really justify going for a big heal with Exsanguinate, or can I justify it? Ah, uh, should I even go for it? You know what? I'm gonna close my eyes and go for it. I heard the hit, and I heard the crit! Okay then, you know, that's, that's kind of just Butcher Circus in a nutshell. I could have missed, or it could have crit healed myself for enough, so yeah. Just put your circus things, I suppose. There's gonna be a heal right there, we're just gonna reply with a stun. And after that we're gonna go sniper shot and probably get a one kill, so a one shot kill on Sakaltis. After which he could heal himself, but then we'll just hit him again, and you know, I'm more than happy with that. Actually, crit Turks have on there 14 damage? What trinkets do you have on this? Wow, you do 14 damage on that? Even with the protection? Jeez. Okay then, well, there's your one shot. And the occult is already down to zero. I mean, you can heal him. You have two healing uh, healing abilities right now. You have Weirder Construction, which could heal for a lot, but considering the amount of damage I have, I should still be able to do 24 here. Let's see. Yes, easily able to do 24. But after that, you have another heal, so uh, it's going to be a little tricky for me to actually get the kill here. When I say a little tricky, I say impossible. <laughs> Especially with another crit heal over there. Okay, then I guess the occultist doesn't want to die today. So instead, we could go for a stun of the gesture, but mm, it's not the likely to hit. I mean, I have to go for it. And we take those, thankfully. We do hit that gesture. And that, right now, I have to finish him valley if I want to go for it on anyone. And I'm definitely going to go for it on this bounty hunter, or am I? I could go for a pull here. I could go for finish and value. I do 14. Okay, that's not even near as much as I wanted to, to do. Which is really annoying here, but I'm just gonna drop the punish and see how we take it from there. I, I failed the bleed, Jesus. Maybe I should have gone for a pull there on the Altus, you know, just bring him down to, to a place where he doesn't want to be. It's gonna be a crit over there. The, the finale, the fi the Jester definitely has finale. He's definitely gonna go for it if he has a chance. I uh, I'm thinking of just dropping another Exsanguinate here to come with counter pressure. I think that would be a good idea. I'm gonna go for it. Thankfully, we hit again. We heal ourselves for 15, which can actually yeah, that's actually reasonably enough not to get finale. And that's also that Storm the Bounty Hunter, so that's really good for us. It's gonna be weird construction right now. Come on, 17. Seriously? You roll for 17 on that? Okay then, I mean, that's just a, that's just a stunning blow turn. Uh, hopefully get the stun, okay we do. And right now, please only go for some dumb action with the Arbals and lose one of your characters. No, no, one Huntress is too smart for that. She's gonna go Dirk Stab. Okay, okay, I see. And right now I can go for a sniper shot on the occultist, but then he'll stay alive because there's a heal. Ah, this is so annoying. This is really annoying. I could also go for a pull sniper shot chance. I mean, there's a lot of dumb things I can do, that's for sure. I mean, sniper shot into heal into pull, maybe? Then I might get the kill after that. Or a sniper shot here. Yeah, now if you heal, I still drop finish him. So he's still dropping to death store and now he's just gonna die. Yeah, not a bounty hunter that I feel a lot more comfortable in like a 3v3. So it's gonna be a battlefield advantage, but I'm still gonna drop to finish him. And even though you go first, I should be able to easily kill this bounty hunter. So there's probably gonna be a finale on my flash. So kind of a late finale, I'm gonna say, like finale by round four, but I did get really lucky to go for a stun and uh, it landed. So it's gonna be heal for 12, so not quite as much as uh, what it was being before. The heals have definitely died down, died down a little bit. 
but I just shot a very nice sniper shot there, and it's enough. It's definitely enough to get him down to zero again. There's going to be another battlefield bandage. Uh, this one actually rolls for nine, so I actually have to go zealous here. And uh, hope to god that it doesn't whiff. And it whiffs! I mean, it gets a crit on the, on the Jester, which, I mean... <laughs> thank you? But is that going to be enough to save me? Well, if you drop the finale there, then yeah, it will. I can kill this. Uh, I can kill this BH anyway. Yeah, so the turns do turn out pretty well for me. I mean, I'm going to lose one action essentially, but I can still kill the BH. Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite happy. So round four, flagellant, uh, flagellant dead. You know, I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I am totally okay with this. I mean, I still have a crusader and you don't, right? And uh, the chance is also getting really close to this sword here. There's gonna be wow, there's actually gonna be an immediate stab. I could flare that, but do I wanna? Is the question. Do I wanna flare or do I wanna go for some counter pressure here? I'm gonna go for some counter pressure because I can hopefully get that to call this out to zero. I definitely wanna kill him because I mean, he's a healer and he's a marker, he's a damage dealer, he's, he's everything and he's squishy too. So you wanna get him out of here. So there's gonna be an immediate sniper shot. Doesn't get the one shot, which is amazing. And now we can actually go for a stun here. So 85 of getting it. Even if we don't get the death book, he's stunned. And once again, this, the Butcher Circus is a very unreliable thing. Right now I could deal like... Um, uh, yeah, maybe going, like, going for that stun there doesn't really do too much of a difference. Because I'm probably going to heal anyway. Not heal, I'm probably going to go for the kill anyway. But I'm, I'm actually going to heal right now. And if you do want to heal that... Uh, that Occultus, at least he's going to be stunned, so he's not going to be able to heal himself or something. So, what I'm, what I was trying to say from that is that going for, uh, that's actually weird to play, but going for stuns for the next round rather than just random damage abilities is usually better because what you're is very unreliable, and things can always happen. Things that turn the tide of a match. So there's going to be a sniper shot right there, but right now I have um, I have essentially more heals, and uh, I still go first by the start of next round. Yeah, uh, what Hunter is just saying right now. Oh wait, you still go first on on the messages, and yeah, that's a little rough, isn't it? <laughs> it's definitely a little rough. So I'm gonna drop a heal with. Um, with the R boss, and after that there should be a one shot. I mean, I have 8 HP, but after that I will just get a stun and a death blow, and then it's going to be way more than a guaranteed win. I mean, the the bounty hunter might die, but it doesn't really matter all that much because now I can just do this and just finish him off, and then I still have an R boss at full HP. I still have a Crusader at full HP. And there really isn't much you can do against the hit squad, and that's going to be a GG's. So kind of a fast match, and uh, hopefully let's go on to a number two, maybe it changes things up a bit. Alright, and here we go, on to a match number two. So we are still going second, which is really annoying. Especially because we're playing against the mix and match between DOT and stress here, and there's going to be an immediate slam on my Crusader, so... I guess I can say goodbye to my Crusader action, but uh, I think this team might be kind of overstepping itself because I can go for a pull here on the Jester, I can go for a pull on the Houndmaster, I'm definitely, I mean, pulling the Jester and then the Houndmaster would have been technically a better play to just mess with this team, but to actually get kills here, I'd rather pull the Houndmaster and uh, just get him out of the match because I think that would be more important because, you know, I can actually make use of the marked. If he moves back, that would be a very weird play. That's so a weird play, but I mean, that's my action gone on a 90% chance. So, oh, it's, it's weird, but if it's stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid, right? Now, it's definitely not stupid. If you can take out the Arbol's action, then by all means do that. So I'm gonna drop a Holy Lance, very lucky to hit, and, uh, you know, not, not too shabby either. So there's gonna be a move forward right there, and I'm just gonna punish this... Uh, this abomination here do some decent damage and uh, you know i can't even fail the blade and then the arbals is just gonna pass and by the start of next round maybe we can drop a sniper shot go for some kind of crazy place and hopefully get a get a kill somewhere so maybe i should have gone for just the holy lands before i got slammed maybe i should have done that first before i went for a come hitter i mean i was not expecting a, a blackjack on my arbals not gonna lie yeah, but you know, it is uh, it is definitely an interesting play, but you know, a blackjack is not a hound's area, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. Is there going to be a B-Smell right now? Yes, there is, okay. But the Abomination doesn't want to die anytime soon, I suppose. 
And I could go sniper shot into... Oh, it has missed chances. I gotta kill him though. Hmm. I do gotta kill him though. I could go for a pull as well, but I think pull would be better by being last. I'm gonna go for the immediate sniper shot. I know it's an 80, but I kind of have to kill this doggy here, you know, I, I really gotta get him out of the match. Uh, the better play would have been probably to just um, mark this abomination, go for sniper shot, like just get a kill by star next round because he stays. That would have definitely been uh, most likely a better play. But I'm gonna go Holy Lance right now, please give me value, please give me value. Yes, there we go. Alright, I'm getting quite lucky on the hit chances, <laughs> not gonna lie. I, I will not complain about the hit chances right now. It's gonna be Reign of Sorrows. Uh, there's still no command buff, so the hit chances aren't confirmed, but they're still rather decent, so you would expect them to hit and apply a lot of DOT at the same time. And now this is definitely gonna hurt, because you should have gone for the Dark Snap first. Because I can go for the pull, and even if I don't get a one shot, then the Dark Snap is gonna move the Abomination out of position, which is pretty bad. It is definitely pretty bad. And I'm just gonna go for the punish and uh, hopefully get it. Even if I don't, I can at least counter the reach and if I hit. Let's see, uh, I want to at least hit. Oh, okay then. Oh, okay, then that's actually really bad. Now we don't hit this doggy, so this would have been one of those situations where the crown of thorns would have been a lot better, not gonna lie. And right now we are being put in a place where we don't want to be. I'm gonna drop another punish here, I feel like this is the best thing I can do with my flash on action. So I'm gonna go for 70 going twice, and we do take it. So we should be able to just get a kill to finish him here, and um, see where we take it from there. I can probably still do a lot of damage with my Arbalest shot, maybe onto that Abomination, get him essentially down to zero. So it's gonna be Reign of Sorrows, ouchie, 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 that definitely hurts. And yes, this is a, a finish him turn here on the on the Hound Master because I don't even go first, so I can't go for any any funny stuff. I can't go for like Mark, so the Arbal still has a, a still still has a character to shoot with a Mark, and then go for the finish him star next round. There's actually gonna be a pass on that Jester. That's just hilarious. Yeah, that's absolutely hilarious. So I'm gonna stun this Flangelt right now, so he doesn't do any any funny business. Do we get the stun though? It's an 85. Yeah, we do get the stun. That's pretty good. And after that, I am 99% surely gonna gonna shoot the abomination. I mean, especially if he's just gonna transform and lose their past. So it's gonna be a slam right now. Gets by what I think is a max roll out of it. And I'm gonna do this. I do 13 to 22 damage, and I do just enough. All right, sweet. I mean, I say just enough. It's above uh, the the limit where I had to hit. And we do take it, the big doggy is not enjoying himself at all right now. He's being dropped to this store, even if he goes for the transform heal, that's really not gonna save him because I can probably do enough damage, uh, even with the Crusader actually. How much am I taking? I'm only taking 3 blights, so I should be able to do enough here. And let's see, yes, I can do 13 to 20 damage. That is considering I hit, but I definitely hit those. <laughs> yeah, interesting that he actually has more damage than the Arbals if the Arbals isn't going last. It's actually uh, quite uh, quite an interesting thing. So I am going to be dropping to this store and afflict the deer, so maybe I should have dropped the Reclaim first, but I think I was taking way too much DOT anyway. Masochistic! Marks himself. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that freaking lovely? Oh my god, Marks himself. Yeah, that's my favorite act out. That is my favorite act out. And he stays alive somehow. Somehow, some way, he lives. My man. He wants to survive this. I think I'm gonna play a little bit more on the defensive side right now, because I definitely want him to stay alive. So you can't say no to reclaim heals. Uh, so that's pretty good, but you can say no to to Battlefield Bandit Shields, and if this heal fails, I'm gonna be pretty annoyed. Especially if Selfish Pastor does something dumb. Okay, let's see. Uh, please get it. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's a very good LA crit heal out of that. Yeah, this is really rough for, for Bald Huntress right now, because I still have a flagellant to deal with your flagellant, so overall we're kind of like equal in that department. Then I have three characters to deal with uh, your Chester, which is just one guy, you know, just one guy, one man army, this Chester. He's gonna have to deal with uh, the best three character combination in the Butcher Circus all by himself. I'm gonna drop this right now. 
I think that if you're Blood Huntress, you just move forward too, right? I think I think they're gonna do that. Yeah, they're gonna do. Yeah, I <laughs> I know what your circus players do well. They they all have the same tricks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just uh, not get myself an ally. Actually, how much damage am I taking? Seven. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough for a redeem heal here. So I'm gonna do that. I definitely want to keep the Crusader alive. That's the most important character. So I'm just gonna do that. And yep. Okay, that's a crit heal. We take those for sure. And after that, I'm just gonna go for Holy Lance into maybe a heal or maybe a sniper shot. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm gonna go Sniper Shot actually, yeah, Sniper Shot doesn't look too bad right now. He's gonna be forced to heal, but after it I could still do enough damage. Actually, I'm selfish, and no, I guess neither. She's just gonna decide to pass. I wonder why a selfish character would choose to pass rather than to heal himself. I mean, it doesn't make much sense, does it? No, not really. It's gonna be a finale there, it doesn't do quite enough. I mean, there were three damage buffs, so 14 to 25 damage. It was possible. It was possible, uh, yes it was, but the question is, isn't if it was possible or not, the question is <laughs> if it was a good idea. And yeah, we get powerful crusaders, so plus 25% damage, and that's a surrender right there. So yeah, that's a GG to, to Vault Hunters, and that's gonna be our 13th win with the uh, hit squad in a row, so that's not too shabby. Playing on some decent teams too, so it's not like we're... Um, you know, playing against only like novice garbage, novice garbage teams with like silver syringe antiquarian. It's it's definitely sad to see them because eventually they'll become great players, but until until they get there, it's it's gonna take a while. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed the matches, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.